I will always admit when I am wrong, and I was wrong about Back to Black. I was the biggest hater. After seeing the trailer, I was like, absolutely not. Get rid of it. I did not want it to be released because from the trailer, I was like, they're not doing justice to Amy Winehouse. But after seeing this, I am rooting for Marissa Abella to get an Oscar nomination. She inhabits Amy Winehouse. She's singing the songs. I love her interpretation of Amy Winehouse because, you know, Amy died in 2011. So many people who will see this film may not be very familiar with Amy Winehouse and the contribution to music in her short lifetime. But with this interpretation, I think it will draw people into Amy Winehouse's legacy. She served Amy Winehouse so well. This was such an emotional roller coaster. It, I think, is well written. They licensed some really good music. The soundtrack is good. The sound mixing is really good. I saw this in Dolby and the, the sound was immersive in a way that it felt like a concert. That's how well the sound was mixed. I am shocked because I went in knowing I was going to hate this film because the trailer, again, is terrible. The trailer does not serve this film because it came up to me as like lifetimey. The film is well directed. This was directed by Sam Taylor Johnson, who happens to be Aaron Taylor Johnson's wife. She did a spectacular job with the direction of the film. It is well paced. It's somewhat of a slow burn as it builds in the beginning, but it gets there. There's a huge payoff and it is well written. It was written by Matt Greenhow. I love how they handled the addiction. It wasn't exploitative in any way. I like how it was handled very preciously. I think they were very careful yet deliberate with how the arc of Amy Winehouse's life it or played out before the public and this the span of this film takes place at the beginning as her career is building into her becoming this massive star without losing who she is she was very grounded even though her public profile was you know, expanding. She was really blowing up and becoming one of the most, you know, sought after singers, really. She had won five Grammys. It follows her relationship with her husband, Blake, uh, the love of her life. Of course, Marissa Abella did a spectacular job. Eddie Marsden was good. He played her father. Leslie Manville, there's this really emotional scene that, uh, she delivers that really did change the trajectory of Amy's life. I mean, this is such a good film. If you saw the trailer and you're gonna stay away because of the trailer like I was, don't let that sway you. This is a really good biopic. At first I was like, mm -mm, I don't know her, I don't know Marissa, I don't think, you know, don't let it be a, an impersonation of Amy because I didn't think that would honor her life. I was like, oh, you need somebody like Lady Gaga or, you know, Kaylee Spaney or someone Lisa I am more familiar with, but no, 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 no. Marissa Abella, she's singing the songs. She has some really good pipes. I mean, she was blowing. She was so good. I am rooting for her to be recognized award season. I think she is deserving. There was just some, I just think she carried it with so much depth. She delivered a deep cut of emotionality with this performance. She inhabited Amy. She did such a good job. This biopic, I think for me, just stands out from a lot of the more recent biopics that I've seen in the theater. I highly recommend seeing Back to Black in the theater this weekend. It's probably gonna be the best thing you see this weekend. Definitely see it in the theater on the biggest screen you can find this weekend.